Tracks riders plan ahead. A crash involving a train and a pickup truck in South Jordan is still causing delays. It happened near 106 South Granville. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson tells us what this means for commuters and how long those delays are expected to stick around. The crash is affecting the Daybreak Parkway station and the South Jordan station. And crews say it's going to be a while before they can get everything back up and running. It happened at 8.30 Monday night. Utah Transit Authority officials say a man driving a pickup truck ran a red light and crashed into the train. The impact of the crash so strong, the pickup truck left smushed together, the train torn apart, and a power line uprooted out of the ground. It was dangerous. Uh, the power has been turned off now so that our crews can work on that. But uh, to have that pull pull down and have the train derailed, uh, there had to be a high rate of speed on the, uh, the part of the driver of that truck. Due to the extensive damage the Red Line tracks train sustained in the crash, it's going to take crews quite some time to move the train. For the time being, UTA is transporting passengers via a bus bridge from the Daybreak Station to the 5600 West Old Bingham Highway Station. Riders can also drive to the 5600 West Station and catch the Red Line trains. UTA is advising riders to plan ahead. It will take you a few minutes longer to get to your destinations. This part of the alignment is going to be out for the foreseeable future and what I would advise people to do is just to uh, consult the Twitter feed and see where our, our service uh, is at any certain point of the, the day or the night to see uh, when we get this restored. The man driving the pickup truck was taken to a hospital and treated for minor injuries. The sole passenger and driver of the train were not injured. For now reporting in South Jordan, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4, Utah. The area is closed off to drivers while crews work to clean up the power lines.